Suppose demand function for a monopolist is given by Q is equal to K P to the power minus two. K is greater than zero. M C is three. What is the value of the learner's index? <clears throat> this is simple. One, you should know that learner's index shows you the negative relationship between the relative markup and the elasticity of demand. So it is showing you the negative relationship negative relationship between relative markup and elasticity of demand. So what is the relative markup? What is markup? Markup is your power to set the price above the marginal cost. So your marginal cost is MC, price is P. So this is the absolute markup. This P minus MC is the absolute markup. Aap kitna upar price ko set kar sakte hai. Marginal cost ke yeh absolute markup hai. Isko P se divide kar dije. This will become the relative markup. And this is inversely related to the elasticity of demand. This is the formula for this guy is the formula for <clears throat> learner's index. P minus MC upon P is nothing but the learner's index, this thing. Right? Okay. Iska kya matlab hota hai? Iska matlab ye hota hai ki maan lije agar elasticity of demand jada hai. Right? Uh, kisi product ki, kisi market mein agar elasticity of demand jada hai. To iska matlab hai ki uske bhoot substitutes available hai. So if more substitutes are available, then monopolist does not have that much power to set the price to above than the marginal cost. So you'll be setting the price not too way above. I mean, if you'll be setting the price a little lower than that. So the power which he has to set up the price above the marginal cost is given by P minus MC. And the relationship of this power with the elasticity of demand is negative. Agar jada substitutes available honge, to vehe jada price ko upar nahi set kar sakta hai. क्योंकि कंज्यूमर कहेगा कि हम दूसरे के पास चले जाते हैं अगर आपकी डिमांड अर्जेंट है अगर कम सब्स्टिट्यूट्स अवेलेबल हैं तो इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड भी कम है इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज आल्सो लेस एंड इफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज लेस योर पावर टू सेट द प्राइस अबव द मार्जिन कॉस्ट इंक्रीजेस सो दैट इज दिस इज द द मेजर ऑफ मार्केट पावर व्हिच ही हैज राइट नाउ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन योर क्वेश्चन सेज दिस you have Q is equal to K P to the power minus 2. Right? I need this P minus MC upon P. Okay. You are given with K greater than 0 and MC equals to 3. But I can write uh, this PQ as to P that is K into P to the power minus 1. This is what my uh, revenue is or K upon P. Fair enough. So basically my uh, this thing P square from here you have P square equals to K by Q. Okay. From my demand function P is equal to root of K by Q. Right. Okay. PQ is root of K by Q. This is P into Q. So that thing will come out to be root of KQ. Why I am doing this? Because I need to find out that price where MR is equal to MC. This is what my total revenue is. What is MR? TR by TQ. 
so that will come out to be beta root k is a constant root q ka derivative is 1 upon 2 root q right what is mc so at equilibrium what is happening at monopoly equilibrium what do you have mr equals to mc what is mr equals to root of k upon 2 root q equals to 3 2 root q equals to 3 to beta main yahan se q star ki value nikal sakta hu na i can find out the value for q star that will come out to be k by 36 right mujhe price nikalna hai right i need to find out the price right so p is equal to root of k upon q this is what we have found out right P is equal to root of k by q. In place of q, I can find out, I can write k by 36. So that thing will come out to be root of 36. That thing will come out to be 6. Of course, minus 6. So this is nothing but for my profit maximizing prices. Why? Because this has been calculated at the profit maximizing quantity. How is profit maximizing quantity calculated? MR equals to MC. Is P equals to 6. Right? So, kuch bhi nahi hai. You just have to write this. So, what is learner's index given by? P minus MC upon P. But P kitna hai? 6. MC kitna tha? 3. Uh, upon 6. Sorry. That thing will come out to be 3 by 6, which is 1 by 2. 0.5. So, what is the value of learner's index? 0. Can you tell me what is going to be the learner's index for a perfectly competitive industry? 1. And uh, what are the different degrees of uh, market concentration? What are the different measures of market concentration? Can you just tell me that? Thank you, Peter.